Hello Roblox developers. Ever had your accessories fall off your R6 rig as soon as you hit the test place? It's annoying, but don't worry. In this video, I'm going to explain the cause of this issue and guide you through the welding process to keep all your accessories secure. But before we dive in, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you. I've reached 300 subscribers. Your support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. Let's continue to grow. Now, let's get into the topic of welding in Roblox Studio. So, what exactly is welding? In Roblox Studio, welding is like gluing parts together so they move as one. This is crucial for making sure all the parts of your model, like accessories on your R6 rig, stay connected and move properly. Welding is used to create stable, interactive models, whether it's for characters, vehicles, or any other complex structure. By welding parts together, you ensure that they don't fall apart during gameplay, which is exactly what we need to solve our problem today. Many popular games on Roblox, like Bed Wars, Arsenal, and Adopt Me, all uses different types of rigs to create their characters and objects. For example, Bed Wars uses R15 rigs to give characters more joints and smoother animations, while some games prefer R6 rigs for their simplicity and performance benefits. Regardless of the rig type, welding plays a key role in keeping accessories, weapons, and other parts securely attached to the character models. This ensures a seamless and immersive experience for the players. So, whether you're building a fast-paced action game like Arsenal or a detailed role-playing game like Adopt Me, understanding and using welding correctly is essential. It keeps your creations intact and looking great, no matter how intense the gameplay gets. But before we dive into the welding process, it's important to understand the difference between anchoring and welding, as both are used to manage how parts behave in your game. When you anchor a part in Roblox Studio, it becomes fixed in place and doesn't move, no matter what. Anchored parts are great for creating static structures like buildings, where you don't want any movement. However, anchoring isn't suitable for parts that need to interact with physics, such as vehicles or character accessories, because anchored parts will remain stationary and ignore any physics-based interactions. In contrast, welding allows parts to move together while maintaining their relative positions. This is essential for dynamic models where different parts need to stay connected but still be able to move. For instance, welding is used for attaching accessories to characters or connecting parts of a vehicle. Welds make sure that all parts move as a unit, preserving the intended design and functionality. To summarize, With that explained, it's time to dive into the welding process. As of 2024, Roblox continues to evolve, and so does Roblox Studio. New features are frequently added or moved, which can sometimes make finding tools a bit challenging. For instance, I couldn't find the weld tool in its usual place. Despite searching online, I didn't find the answers I needed. However, I discovered a more effective method for welding, and I'm excited to share it with you. To start, First put all your rig's accessories into its model and rename them if you'd like. As we talked about in this video, do not anchor the accessories or else it will not work. After that, insert a weld constraint into every part of your accessory and follow what I do. Don't worry about this part, I'm removing meshes I don't need. Here, you'll need to connect the accessories to the RIG. Part 0 should always be the part you want to connect the RIG, while Part 1 should always be what you want to connect it to. If you did this correctly, the RIG and the accessory part should have a green outline indicating they are now welded. Here, I duplicated the weld constraint so I can connect the body of the suitcase. 
Now since I have more accessories, I'll need to copy the step for every accessory. Make sure when you're welding, do not weld anything to your rig's humanoid root part since it won't look good. To avoid this, move your humanoid root part away from the torso, so you can weld properly. Make sure to put the humanoid root part back once you've finished. If you did this correctly, everything should be welded together. Now if you're still new to all of this welding stuff, I have some tips to share. Tip 1. Ensure that parts are properly aligned before creating the weld. This saves time and reduces the need for adjustments later. Tip 2. Only weld parts that need to be connected. Excessive welding can impact game performance. Tip 3. Dot regularly test your welds in the game environment to ensure they behave as expected. Look out for parts falling off or not moving correctly. And lastly, if you want to increase your welding game to a whole new level, join Roblox developer forums and communities to learn from others' experiences and get tips on welding. Now let's say you needed to weld accessories and or parts to an animation, then what? Well I've also got you covered on that as well. A great example of this is if you had a custom starter character RIG that is not an R6 nor R15 body type and wanted to create custom animations. E now what tool would you use for this? You're less than likely asking yourself. A great tool for this kind of problem is Motor 6D. Motor 6D is a type of joint constraint that allows for rotational movement between two parts in Roblox Studio. Unlike traditional welds, which rigidly connect parts, Motor 6D joints provide more control over how parts move relative to each other. Unlike traditional welds, which rigidly connect parts, Motor 6D joints provide more control over how parts move relative to each other. Motor 6D joints can apply rotational forces to move parts, mimicking the function of a motor. Motor 6D joints are commonly used for rigging characters and animating their movements in Roblox games. By connecting parts of a character's body with Motor 6D joints, developers can create realistic animations for walking, jumping, and interacting with objects. Motor 6D joints are a powerful tool for creating dynamic animations and controlling the movement of parts in Roblox games. By mastering their functionality and properties, developers can bring their creations to life with realistic and engaging movements. As we wrap up today's tutorial, I'd like to extend an invitation to join me in future videos. For exclusive updates, discussions, and opportunities to collaborate, I encourage you to join my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description below. Even though it's not finished yet, I'd like to reward you with free memberships to my soon-to-be store. Looking forward to seeing you there. I hope you have a great day slash night and now goodbye.